I know this video was long overdue, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import emotes, animations, and all that straight from Fortnite into UEFN. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I am going to be making more videos on this soon. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, so the first and probably most important thing that we're going to need for this video is Fortnite porting. Now, this is pretty much a program that allows easy access for any Fortnite cosmetic in the game. And this includes backpacks, pickaxes, gliders, emotes, and even other things like sprays and banners. To download this, you guys are going to want to go into the first link in the description, which which is a link to this Discord right here. And you're gonna wanna go down into the downloads tab. Now, as I'm recording the video, the most recent one is the V2.1.8 update. So you're gonna wanna just download it from here and you're gonna wanna run it. Okay, so if you tried to run Fortnite porting and it just didn't open, then you're gonna wanna download this, which is the desktop runtime. Now, this is pretty much a program that helps you run other programs like Fortnite porting. And so once you open it, you're just gonna wanna download the first one, which is the direct link. Once it's installed, it'll automatically just set itself up and you don't have to worry about it at all. Once you have done that it's probably going to ask you for the archive path now this is pretty much asking you help us find the fortnite download straight off of your computer and then we'll be able to give you all the skins so in my example i opened up my c drive i went to program files i went to epic games because those are the ones that made fortnite and then you're going to want to click on fortnite and then click on the fortnite game folder and then just click select folder once you do that it's going to open up the assets tab right here and you're going to be able to see all the cosmetics so okay great now we have all the cosmetics how do we get the animations there's still something we have to do before that and that is we're going to have to get blender now if you don't already have blender again i'm going to leave this in the description but we need this so we can get the animations okay so once you have blender downloaded we're going to want to go into plugins over here on fortnite porting now as you can see right here it says blender installations no blender installations registered now i purposely got rid of mine just so i can show you guys how to do it so we're going to click on the plus here and then we're going to have to find the exact place where we downloaded blender so again it's going to go into the windows c drive we're going to go into program files and we're going to look for right here blender foundation so we're going to click on this one click on blender 4.1 and then just click on blender and then open it and then as you can see right there it says successfully synced blender 4.1 plugin to version 2.18 so that means that it's pretty much already connected but just to make sure go ahead and open up blender on your pc and then you're going to want to click just general it doesn't really matter we're going to go to edit on the top left go to preferences which is, looks like the settings cog go to the search tab and then type in fortnite porting now as you can see right here if this option comes up for you which says import fortnite porting make sure it's checked and if you if that comes up then that means you're, you're good you're fine okay so now we have fortnite porting connected to blender okay so the next step to this is we're going to want to open up fortnite porting again go to the assets tab and now you can just find any skin that you want uh it doesn't matter what skin it is uh in this case i'll just use one that i like so i'll use uh i'll use clara why not this is a good skin make sure that it's exporting to blender so we have Blender open in the background right here, as you guys can see. We're going to click on the export button. And then once it exports, we're going to want to minimize this, give it a second, and bam. As you can see right there, left click on the square here, uh, press delete. And as you guys can see here, it is now in Blender. Now, the reason it's all white is it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, go to the top right. Uh, click on the shaders and this should automatically shade the skin now we actually get to the cool part which is animating the character click on any of the black nodes uh, make sure it highlights all of these go back into fortnite porting and then we're going to go down here to on the bottom left where it has the drop down menu and we're going to look for emotes once you click on that it's going to load all the emotes in the game you can also search it right here if you want if we want the hula emote we'll click on it and make sure the bone structure is still highlighted in the background and then you're going to want to click export you're going to see that the animation loads it is going to look a little bit weird uh, i'm not sure why it looks like that but that's just the way it is and as you guys can see there it's actually animated now if you want to preview it without all the lines you can just click on the little eyeball here in the top right and that's going to turn them off okay so now that we have all of this selected we're, we have to export it because we're going to have to put it into uefn so again just click on any of these black dots and make sure everything gets highlighted then we're going to go to file we're going to go to export and make sure you export this as a .fbx file. So we're going to click on that. I like to put them in my documents for easier access. Just to make it easier on yourself, title the fbx file the name of the skin. So in this case, it's Clara. So I'm going to name it Clara.fbx. Then we're going to export it. Okay, so now it's actually on your game. And as you can see here, this is the one I made a little bit earlier just to make sure that I knew what I was talking about. Open up the content drawer, right click, and we're going to create a new folder. Now, I usually just like to name this the name of the skin as well. So just Clara. And then we're going to click on the import button on this folder. And right here, I'm on my documents tab. As you can see right here, the FBX file that I just exported from Blender is right here. 
you're gonna want to left click on this and then click open this is a part that a lot of people mess up on uh normally by default the import animations button is not checked now if you do this and you try and import without this having a check on it you are not gonna get the animation you want to always make sure you want to click on this this is by default turned off so you want to turn it on so once you put a check mark on it you're gonna want to click import all and give it a second it should be importing everything and there it is right there uh you can go ahead and clear this none of this is important uh content drawer and as you can see right here we have all of these animations you can just go ahead and left click on it and as you can see there's the animation again it looks a little funky I'm I'm not sure why it looks like that uh you can go ahead click on content drawer go on the folder and then just left click this hold and drag and then you can have it on here it's not textured i'm gonna make a separate video on that but we're just focusing on animating for this video so once you have that don't delete this thing in the background every time you make a template you always have this this is so that you can actually launch the game so once it's on the game you want to go ahead and click launch session which is the button right next to the verse and save selected this is going to open up your fortnite but on a special session so that you can test out your map all right and it finally loaded in as you guys can see here i'm actually going to tab out for a second this is the one that we just put in here with the hula emote content drawer i'm going to open this up this is what it looks like here in uefn and once it's opened up this is what it looks like actually animated in game i hope this video helps if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have any more questions leave them down in the comments i'll do my best to try and help you guys and uh yeah with all that being said i'll see you guys all in the next one bye